Hello everyone, I hope you guys are all having a fabulous day. Yes, you are reading the title correctly. I've told you before, I will always come on here and share my experiences when it comes to luxury goods, whether it's good, bad, or ugly. Uh, so for those of you that don't know, Louis Vuitton has issued a, um, they're not calling it a recall, but let's be honest, that's exactly what it is, a recall on the Pochette Matisse with date codes ranging from 2013 to 2015. A lot of people that have this bag have been experiencing quite a bit of issues with the glazing, such as melting in certain spots, as well as cracking. Uh, so when I first heard about this recall uh, last year, I took my bag into the boutique and um, they looked it over. They said it's in great condition, nothing's wrong with it. So, you know, it made me feel really good. And about two weeks ago, I actually got an email and a phone call from corporate. And uh, once again, they let me know about the, um, the recall, that a lot of people were having issues with it and whatnot. And uh, at that point, I said, you know, I had taken in my bag in a few months prior, and they said that it was still, it was in great condition. And she said, okay, that's great to hear, but we would still like you, if you can, to bring it into the boutique once more so we can look over it. Because um, the bag, uh, the year in which I purchased my bag, and the location in which I purchased my bag, all of them, uh, all that entire lot has been deemed defective. So she said, um, hopefully nothing's wrong with it, but still we just want to make sure that it's, um, it's wearing the way that it should. So when I was talking to her on the phone, I wanted a few more details and I said, okay, so what happens if I bring in my bag and it's not defective, but something happens in six months time, or what happens if it is defective? You know, what are my, uh, what are my options? And she said, you actually have a lot of different options, but first let me tell you that there is no expiration date when it comes to this recall, absolutely no expiration date. So if you bring in your bag and if it's in perfect working order and something happens in six months, a year, a year and a half, Louis Vuitton will take care of you. So that made me super, super happy. Um, but she said, here are some of the options that you can go for um, when you bring in your bag. Number one, if you bring it in and it's not deemed defective, it's still in perfect condition, you can take your bag back, you can continue to use it until something happens to it, whether it's you know the six months, the year, or the year and a half, or whatever, um, so that's awesome. Number two, she said, if you bring in your bag and if it is deemed defective, you can exchange it for something else in the boutique. Now, if you exchange it for something else, you get the current selling price of the Pochette Matisse in the monogram canvas for mine, uh, which I believe is $1,830 here in the States, if I'm not mistaken. So I get the current selling price. Um, if I bring my bag into the boutique and if it is deemed defective and if I want store credit because I don't find anything, if I if I really want store credit at that moment, then they end up giving me the price that I paid for the bag back in 2015. So it's a little bit less than, uh, than the current selling price. So I have that option. She also said that if you bring in your bag, and if it's uh, deemed defective or whether it's in perfect condition and uh, you, you know, you browse around, you don't see anything that you would like to exchange it for, you can continue to, you can take your bag back, you can continue to use it, and you can come back into the boutique and exchange it when you do find something that you do like. Again, whether it's the six months, the year, year and a half, two years, or what have you. So you are not... Um, you are not forced to give up your bag right then and there. If you don't find something that you like, it's not like they're gonna say, well, you have 30 days to decide, you have two weeks to decide, or anything like that. It's all a matter of what it is that you want to do. Whether you want the store credit, you get the current, or you get the price that you paid for. Uh, whether you want to exchange it for something else, you get the current price. Or whether you want to continue to use your bag until it is deemed effective or until you decide, you know what, um, I'm sick and tired of this bag. And even if it's still in perfect condition, they will exchange it for something else. So I think that's pretty, um, I think that's pretty awesome of them to do. It's definitely a form of damage control. It's definitely a way of being proactive, you know, because there have been so many issues with, um, with, uh, with the Pochette Matisse. It's such a popular bag. And when it comes to glazing or when it comes to the cracking, that's always been the number one thing that's come up. So the fact that they um, are being vocally aware of it, because a lot of us have already talked about it for a few months now, actually a few years now, um, the fact that they're putting that out in print that, okay, we do see that there is an issue and we're trying to offer a solution for people, I think is really, really amazing. So when it came to my bag, like I said, I got the phone call two weeks ago. I took it into the boutique last week and uh, corporate had emailed the boutique and told them that I was going to be bringing my uh, my Pochette Matisse in so they can take a look at it. So when I got there, you know, I'm feeling really good. I'm all, you know what? I look over my stuff all the time. I take care of my bag, blah, blah, blah. You know, so she took it back there. She came back maybe 10, 15 minutes later and she said, you have such a beautiful bag. I love the patina. However, we found that it is defective. 
And I said, wait, what? <laughs> you got you got to tell me that one more time because there's no way. There's no way. She said, we found that there is a small crack within the canvas and you also have a little bit of melting going on within the flaps as well when it comes to that glazing. So she brought it out so I can take a look at it and lo and behold, there was the crack and there was the little sticky melting part on the uh, on the glazing. I was immediately heartbroken, all right? Call me what you will, make fun of me, I don't care. But I was like, oh my gosh, I was crushed. I was crushed because I absolutely love this bag. So she said, okay, so it is defective. Is there anything that you wanna exchange it for? I didn't even think of a bag to look at because I, I didn't go with the intention of exchanging it. I thought that I would walk out there with my bag, you know, so um, the the store manager comes out, um, you know, I've talked to her a million times before, she's super, super nice. She comes out and she's like, I'm so sorry, Minnie, but your bag is defective, you know, and <laughs> she's like, oh my gosh, I see, I see your face, I see your face. I think it was written all over that I was like, I was devastated, you know? So um, she said, do you want to exchange it for anything? And I said, I didn't, I didn't even really come with the intention of exchanging it. I didn't even, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> you know, I have no idea. And uh, she said, you can take your bag back and if you want something else, you know, later on, if you find something else, then we can take care of you then. You can continue to use your bag if you want to, like I said before, from what the, uh, from what the young lady at the corporate office had told me. So um, I was, I was, <laughs> I didn't know what to say. You know what I mean? I was speechless. She was so cute. She kept asking me about this bag and that bag. I was like, no, no, no. She was like, I could put you on a list for the monogram Pochette Matisse. I could put you on a list for the reverse. I could bring out the on prom version if you wanted to check it out. Um, and I said, I don't know what direction I want to go in. I don't know if I want to go for another Pochette Matisse or if I want to go for a completely different bag. So let me just hang back a bit. Let me do a little bit of browsing. Let me gather my thoughts and I'll definitely let you know. She's like, no pressure, no pressure. So I'm sitting in the back and I'm trying to like weigh everything out. I'm trying to weigh out the pros and the cons because a lot of you know that I have talked about the, the Pochette Matisse for so long. It has been one of my top bags for the last three, almost four years for as long as I've had it. You know, um, I called it my game changer because I was never really a big fan of crossbody bags up until that bag. You know, so I feel like it offers so incredibly much. It's so comfortable. I love the compartments. There's so many details that I love, but at the same time, it would be my third one if I ended up going for another one. You know, it would be my third one. And it's not that it puts a bad taste in my mouth, it's more so paranoia. And when paranoia starts to kick in for me, I feel that that takes away from the joy of being able to use the bag. And ultimately, that's what I want. I wanna be able to enjoy the bag. I don't wanna to have to worry about how it's wearing. I don't wanna to have to worry about this, that, or the other. You know what I mean? So because it would be my third one, I feel like I would instantly be like put on edge and I felt like, I would be waiting for the other shoe to drop. So I decided at that point that it was time for me to appreciate the Pochette Matisse from afar and to go for a completely different bag. And I do carry around my wish list. Uh, so I busted that bad boy out and um, I started asking her about the ones that I had on there. And I did put a bag on there uh, last March when we were in Las Vegas. So they had it in store. So I was able to try it on, see how it works with my body frame. So I ended up exchanging it for that bag. And they had a floor model, so they were ordered another one and when that one comes in I will most definitely be doing an unboxing uh, but yeah that is the story of my Pochette Matisse and um, again I just think it's really awesome that they are doing this type of damage control the fact that they are being proactive and the fact that they are standing behind their product whether it is defective or whether it's not defective I think that really speaks volumes about uh, the company and the direction that they're trying to go in because I know that there have been um, a lot of um, there hasn't been a lot of um, positivity when it comes to to how they handle certain uh, situations. I myself have experienced that in the past. So for them to do something like this, I think it's uh, I think it's really, really great. But um, yeah, total, total bummer. And I'll be honest with you, there's still a part of me, maybe it's the craziness, I have no idea. There's still a part of me that I'm like, maybe, <laughs> maybe I should go for a third one. <laughs> maybe I should, but no. <laughs> you know, I feel like no, lesson learned and just appreciate it from afar because it is an absolutely fabulous bag. So once again, if you if you have the Pochette Matisse and if you have it from 2016, 17, 18, or 19, there haven't been any recalls for those date codes, but you can absolutely take your bag into the boutique and um, 
have them take a look at it just to make sure that it's wearing the way that it should. And uh, if you do have the bags or the date codes from 2013 to 2015 in this bag, um, I would definitely um, go into the boutique and let them know, you know, what's going on with it or have them look over it as well. Uh, like I said, they are already aware of it. They have um, they have a call list of every client that has purchased the bag within that time frame that they are getting to and they are emailing and also calling them just to, to just to make sure, you know. And you don't have to give up your bag. You don't have to give up your bag. Uh, you can continue to rock it until the wheels fall off or, um, or anything like that. You don't have to make a decision, but you also have the option of store credit, whether the bag is defective or not. And if you don't want to go for something else, or you can also exchange it for something else in the boutique and get the current selling price. So that is the story of my of my bag. Again, I just wanted to give you my two cents. I wanted to give you my experience with it. I know that some people might have experienced something different, and I welcome you to give us your opinions and to give us your experiences in the comment section down below. But again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you later. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.